your material, Gabriel. How do you come up with the things you're going to say? <laughs> things happen to me, and then I, instead of just going to shrink or something, I, I suck it up and I come up here. Like when I did the joke about the freaking Volkswagen, I really used to own a Volkswagen. <laughs> I didn't just go, let me see if this is funny. I had a Volkswagen. <laughs> no, I lived it. People go, why do you wear Hawaiian shirts? I've always worn Hawaiian shirts. Bottom line is simple. Why do I wear them? Because they fit. <laughs> They're colorful, and I'm sorry, when you wear a Hawaiian shirt and you're living in the ghetto, people don't think you're up to no good. You're not a gang member wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Nobody's gonna take you serious. You know, where you from? Oh, Honolulu, eh? You can't be hard and colorful. <laughs> No way, man. And believe me, I've had my encounters. I had a little encounter one time on a plane. Some guy was getting a little weird. And I was like, uh-uh, no more for me. Every time I get on a plane, there's always drama. Always. One time I'm flying to Florida and our plane got hit by lightning. Uh-huh. The plane dropped 600 feet. Straight down. That's better than any ride you've ever been on. I don't care who you are. You could have been freaking doing 20 years in prison. You killed a hundred people. You can be the baddest, toughest dude ever. When you're in a plane and it just drops out of the sky, <gasps> Ooh, I was gay for five seconds. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> Oh, I was a broke back Mexican. Yes, I was. I was in touch with myself.